Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically the best settings on the Yuzu emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now I'm basically gonna show you case you guys all the best in-game emulator settings. So when you go to emulation tab and you go to configure, when you go to the general tab, make sure limit speed is is on uh the multi-core cpu emulation is on and any that's really you need to worry about when it comes to the general tab anything else just comes as a bonus to be honest with you system tab really don't need to worry about that cpu tab is good to play on on unsafe because you get more settings now everything here is basically good Unsafe and everything on default is basically good. When you go to the graphics tab, use this shader cast. It's also good due to the fact that um, when you're playing certain games, the the more you play, the more you make shader cast, which is makes the experience more smooth next time you play. So it's really important to have shader cast. Um, GPU emulation is also good, and then ev everything after that uh, is pretty much set in stone. Now, a lot of people I've been hearing saying that using Vulkan is good. Um, to be quite honest with you, I feel like Vulkan is not there yet for the user emulator. It's, it's not. It's not that. I, I I'll say right now, Vulkan is really at the beta stage right now. I feel like in the future, overall, it's gonna go. It's going to be better than OpenGL. It will be um, more preferred. Then use OpenGL, but I feel like Vulkan is at is early beta stage. It needs a lot of work. It's there's a lot of problems with Vulkan. But if you guys want to make me a uh, make a video, want me to make a video um, for you guys explaining how Vulkan really works, I can do that. But at this current moment, OpenGL is the best way to play games on a user emulator. I know that playing on um, Vulkan on an RPCS3 emulator is actually a better experience than playing than OpenGL, but it was that's two different emulators so you got you guys got to keep that in mind an advanced tab vincic is always good especially when you're on OpenGL. is really more it's more effective when you're using on um open gl Sh shader building is uh, also good and fast um gpu time is also good and then settings on high just left on default now these are <laughs> kind of beta stages obviously so 2x will break things so everything here are kind of in the beta stages as you know as time goes on things will get better with this um feature as you know yuzu is on still in the beta stage even if it's playing games first thing they came out so yeah audio tap default is good they press okay with that now you guys may um notice feature already that you can also enhance your experience playing the games using certain mods from the 4k mod 60 fps mod and a new mod that i just um found out about is the 120 f fps mod aka the un the unlocked frame mod uh what i can say about the unlocked fps mod is it's still in beta stage, I'll say, due to the fact that it needs a lot of work, but it's a new mod as time goes on and as um, the user emulator um, gets better and better, I feel like this mod will be good. So far, the go-to mod is always the 60 FPS mod and the 4K mod. So how you basically set that up, which I'll leave in the description down below, is you left click, open mod data location, you drag and drop the 60 FPS mod, you close that left click it open properties make sure it's checkboxed press ok and you're set to go another way to improve your settings is also going to the Nvidia control panel i always stress this a lot i stress on um, using this a lot because this really helps with your game experience you guys wouldn't even know any idea how much this helps um always when you get here using the video geforce now, if you guys have older builds or um, like a, basically a more strong PC, you may have more settings, but the first three, the 3D settings is actually 
one of the most important settings on the video um, graphics tab or the control panel, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I would suggest using performance over quality. That's always going to be my preference, no matter what. Manage GD um, settings. I'm always using the NVIDIA graphics card. Leaving things on default is good. Program settings. Oh, we got to add a Yuzu here. Also, you add a Yuzu. Add that. Use high performance processor. Default it should be left on good. And basically, you apply it. And you're all set. So, yeah, that's basically about it. Those are the best settings for the user emulator in 2021. If I see over the next couple of months that there's new ways to improve your settings or get better performance, I'm always going to make update videos upon this. I'm always going to try to make um, the best settings videos every year because as you guys notice, as the year prog progress, the user emulator gets better with um, their features they offer in the emulator. So I always try to always keep keep up to date with these videos. So that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed the video or find this video any help at all, Feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, I see you guys in the next video.